Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we just worship him tonight? Let's worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the bright and morning star, the ancient of days, the great I am that I am. Let us just worship him. Let's give him praise to that. The great and mighty God, the all powerful God. We just worship you. We give you praise. We honor you. We bless your name, O Lord. For there's no other God like you, O Lord. That is why. We are here, God and the Lord, to praise you. We give you praise. We honor you, O Lord. We bless you, Father. We worship you, O Lord. For there's not to be compared with you, O Lord. We give you all the glory. We magnify your name and we worship you, O Lord. For you alone, O Lord, are worthy of all our praise, O Lord. You alone are worthy of all our praise. God, you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The bright and morning star, the ancient of days, I go Lord. I look for joy to your name. We praise you. We honor you and we bless you. We say, be thou exalted, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are blessed tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I know that God has something to say, even in the midst of us praising Him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I just, first of all, I just want to uh, give honor to whom honor is due. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to just. Thank God for the lives of all the pastors in the house. Praise the name of the Lord, Pastor Mary, Pastor Matthew, Pastor Ali. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. All the ministers in the house, God bless you all. The Lord bless you all. Praise God. And for the spirit of our dear moment, we just praise God. Hallelujah. Because we don't be here with us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I just want to. Thank the set man and the set woman over at Foundation Ministries Daily. Hallelujah. This is their program today. And uh, we are in the Festival of Praise, the annual Festival of Praise for 2021. Hallelujah. It's an awesome time. It's been wonderful, even in his presence today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I know that um, uh, we all know the theme. The theme is. You are God alone, and he is God alone. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is what I'll be ministering on tonight. We just want to see what God wants to say to us concerning that. That he alone was his God. He alone is God. He alone is God. Praise the name of the Lord. When we say he alone is God, that means there is no other God. That means there's none else as God. Praise the name of the Lord. There's no other person, there's no other being, there's no other spirit that we can call God. Praise the name of the Lord. He is what? God alone. He is God alone. There's no one to be compared with him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And when we are talking about he is God alone, what makes him God alone? What makes him God alone? Some of his attributes. Number one is that what he is openly present. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. That means that God is present everywhere. God is present here in Europe. He's present in Asia. He's present in, uh, um, in, in America, in Australia, in Africa. God is present. Hallelujah. That's number one thing that makes him what? God alone. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he can appear to anyone at any time. Praise the name of the Lord. There is no distance that limits him. There is no barrier that limits him concerning his presence. Praise the name of the Lord. As we are here, he's already there in Asia. As we are here, he's already in Africa. Praise the name of the Lord. So there's nothing that can what limits his presence. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. No wall, nothing can limit what the presence of God. Hallelujah. That's number one point. Number two is that what? He is omnipotent. When I talk about omnipotent, that means it's all powerful God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. That makes 
makes him what? God alone. That makes him what? God alone. Because there's no other one. When he says, all power belongs to me. That's what the Bible says. It says, all power belongs to God. Hallelujah. No one else has the power of God. No one else has the power of God. Every power that we have, we, want, we tap it from his own power. Praise the name of the Lord. That makes him God alone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says what he's what? The only shed God. Praise the name of the Lord. The God that knows everything. God that knows what? Everything. Hallelujah. Isn't that God wanted to be praised? He is wanted to be praised. A God that knows your beginning. A God that knows your end. A God that knows everything about you. The number of your hairs on your head, he knows. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Everything that concerns you, he knows. He knows. He's only shares. Praise the name of the Lord. All wisdom belongs to God. He knows everything. There's nothing that he knows. He knows your next minute. He knows your next hour. He knows your next day. He knows your next week, your next year. Everything he knows. From the beginning to the end. Praise God. Hallelujah. He says before we were even formed, he knew us. Before we were even formed, he knew us. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't he a God that must be praised? Yes. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Another thing is that I've come to understand that he is the omnifarious God. Have you ever heard of omnifarious? Omnifarious. He's the omnifarious God. He is what? He's in charge of what? A variety of blessings. Omnifarious God. Hallelujah. He's in charge of Various kinds of blessings. Omnifarious means what? It means all sorts. All sorts. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You can get all sorts from God. All sorts of blessings. All sorts of glory. All sorts of power. All sorts of honor. You can find in God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. All sorts. Omnifarious God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that is why we are here to praise Him. That is why we have set aside time to just say, Lord, we just praise you. We, we put aside all our needs. We put aside all our desires. And we just want to praise you. Hallelujah. Because He's a great God. God is a great God. Hallelujah. He's unchangeable. He's unshakable. Hallelujah. He's unstoppable. He's unchangeable. You can't change the mind of God. Hallelujah. You can't stop God. Nobody can stop God from blessing you. Nobody can stop God from doing what he wants to do concerning you. Hallelujah. Amen. Concerning any nation, nobody can stop God. Praise the name of the Lord. He's unshakable. There's no fear in God. There's no fear. Because he doesn't have the spirit of fear. His spirit is not the same spirit of fear. But it's of love, power, and sound power. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he says that's the spirit he has given unto us. That's the spirit he has given. And that is his spirit. His spirit has no fear. God has no fear in him. How can he be, how can he be shaken? He can't be shaken. He's unshakable. God that we praise tonight is unshakable. Hallelujah. He's unshakable. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He alone is God. He doesn't need anything. God is all sufficient. He doesn't need anything from us. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't depend on us for anything. Praise the name of the Lord. What a great God we serve. What a great God we serve. He doesn't depend on us for anything. He doesn't need any help from us. Because he's our helper. He's our helper. David says what? He says from where my help comes from? My help comes what? From the Lord. Where does my help come from? It comes from what? God. It comes from God. That is somebody who has understanding of where his help comes from. Help does not come from man. But from God. He doesn't need our help. 
because he's our helper. Hallelujah. All help comes from him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He doesn't need what? A favor before he does what he wants to do. Ask man for something, he needs a favor. He's looking for a favor. But God doesn't need favor for anything he wants to do for you. He will do it anyway. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He doesn't need a favor to bless you. You can't bribe God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He doesn't need anything from us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I put it down that he doesn't even need affection before he's loved. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He doesn't need our affection before he loves us. He doesn't need our affection before he loves us. Man needs affection before we love. Before we love, we need affection. If everybody doesn't show us affection, we don't love that person. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But God doesn't need what affection before he loves us. He said, why we were yet sinners, he what he saved us. While we were yet sinners, he what he sent his only begotten son to save us. He doesn't need our affection to love. That is the God that we serve. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he doesn't need your opinion on any matter. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He doesn't need your opinion on any matter. He's a great God, isn't he? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. How do I know that he's a God? He's God the Lord. Then let's go to Psalm 86, verse 10. Psalm 86, verse 10. We look at some scriptures there. Psalm 86, verse 10. Psalm 86, verse 10. Are we all? Praise God. Psalm 86 and verse 10. For you are great. Hallelujah. This is from David's heart. He says, For you are great. He says, For he, God is a great God. He says, He does wondrous things and do wondrous things. He says, God, you are great. You do wondrous things. And then he says, You alone are what? You are God. You alone are God. David came to that understanding that there is no other God except God, the Almighty God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, because he is a great God, because he does wondrous things, he says he's a great God. He says, You alone are God. There is no other God like our God. Every other God is handmade or man-made. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, yeah. Every other God is man-made or handmade. Praise God. Oh, yeah. But God himself, he existed even before existence. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, yeah. The great and mighty God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. How do I do again? Let's look at Paul. Let's look at what Paul said. First Corinthians chapter 8, 4 to 6. First Corinthians chapter 8, 4 to 6. First Corinthians 8, 4 to 6. First Corinthians 8, 4 to 6. He says, Therefore, concerning the eating of things offered to idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world, and that there is no other God. But one. No other God but one. He says, Therefore, yeah, concerning the eating of things offered to idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world. Every God that is being bowed on, there is, it is nothing. There is nothing in it. Praise the name of the Lord. Every idol that has been what that people worship other than God, there is nothing in it. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 5, verse 5, verse 5. For even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords. There are many, many lords, many gods. Praise God, verse 6. Yet for us, hallelujah, yet for us. Says to someone, yet for me, 
Hallelujah. There is one God. There is what? One God. The Father of whom all things and we are we for him. And one Lord Jesus Christ through whom uh, who, through whom all things and through whom we live. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. There's only one God. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why he's God alone. He is God alone. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Let's see what God himself said about himself. Isaiah chapter 44. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 6 to 8. Isaiah chapter 44 6 to 8. This is God himself speaking about himself. Praise the name of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 44, 6 to 8. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no, no God. Hallelujah. Besides me, God himself says, there is no God. That is why I am rest assured I am serving the true God. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, because yes. he said by himself, besides me, there is no God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Verse 7. Verse 7. And who can proclaim as I do? Then let him declare me and set it in order for me. Since I appointed the ancient people. And the things that are coming and shall come, let them show this to them. Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. God is saying, if, if you are saying that you are, show them what is coming the next minute. Show them what is coming what the next hour. Show them what is coming the next day for them. Let me see. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. It's only God that can do that. Praise verse 8. Verse 8. Do not fear, do not, nor be afraid. Have I not told you from that time the girl is, you are my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Even there is no other rock. I know not one. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no other God. We have no other God. We have no other rock to hold on to. But God, in our times of trouble, and he's there to hear us, he's there to hear our cry and to respond. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know why so this world is the all that they are trying to do what is just to disprove his existence, the existence of God. But God exists. Praise the name of the Lord. No matter what they try to say, no matter what they try to do, hallelujah. They have come to the understanding that there is a God. And he alone is God. Praise the name of the Lord. They've spent millions on every experiment that they have tried to make to look out at to what's caused the Big Bang and that they feel that brought about this. Thing. And at the end of this experiment, what did they come to? It came down to God matter. They still came down to say that there is something. There is something that is still God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Why is he the uh, God and God alone? Why? The first thing is that what is the creator of the universe? Hallelujah. Creator of the universe, creator of the world, creator of you and I. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why he stands out from every other God. Because he's a creative God. He's not just what a dumb God, but he's a creative God. Hallelujah. And he keeps on creating. He didn't stop creating from the day he created what the, the uh, heavens and the earth. He never stopped creating. Today he's still creating. And I see him creating what? Something great in your life. Something great in your destiny. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he's the creator of all things. He's the creator of all things. Praise the name of the Lord. Nehemiah chapter 6. Sorry, Nehemiah chapter 9. Verse 6. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6. The Levites of old, they confirmed it. What did they say? They say, You alone are Lord. You have made the heavens, the heavens of heavens, with all their hopes, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them, 
and you give life to all of them, and the heavenly host bow before you. That is the God that we serve, the creator of all things. Everything that we see, everything that we have, everything that we own is created by God. Created by God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the deep name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Job chapter 33, verse 4. Job chapter 33, verse 4. Look at what Job says in his understanding. He says, What? The Spirit of God made me. The Spirit of God made me. He says, And the breath, and his breath gave me life. Hallelujah. You are, you are living today like existing today is because of God. It's because of his spirit that is in you. It's because of what his breath that is in you. Praise the name of the Lord. What a great God we serve. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. What makes him God alone again? He says because his ways are not our ways. His ways are not our ways. Hallelujah. That's why he's worthy to be praised. Because his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The ways of the Lord are different from what we think. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 55, 8 to 9. Isaiah chapter 55, 8 to 9. He says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. He says, for my ways are your ways, says the Lord of hosts. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it here God worthy of praise? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He thinks even ahead of you. He thinks ahead of you. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You think you are taking care of if today, tomorrow, next week, you think you are taking care of it? No, God has taken care of you the whole year. He has taken care of your destiny. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That is a God that is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. When it came to the time of what of the children of Israel departing from what Egypt, when they came to what the Red Sea, what did they They thought everything had finished. They said, this is the end. We are here to be slaughtered. But the ways of God are different from the ways of man. Yes. And he told Moses, stretch forth your rod. And as soon as he stretched forth his rod, the sea was happened. His ways are not our ways. Praise the name of the Lord. He can make a way through the wilderness. There's no situation that you are going through that you won't be able to find a way out for you. There's always a way of escape with the God that we serve. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Isn't he worthy to be praised? Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. The same God, as I say, his ways are not our ways. Is when Peter was in prison. He sent what his angels to deliver Peter. Peter thought that that is the end of his life. Praise God. But God, in his own way, sent what an angel to deliver him. Praise the name of the Lord. I can see somebody here this week you will get what angelic visitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Because that's the God that you serve. That's the God that you are praising. He's able to what? Dispatch his angels concerning you. The Bible says he keeps angels charge over us. And he's able to discharge them at any time. At his will, he's able to discharge them. Never think that you are trapped in any situation. Never think that you are trapped in it because God is a God of what one does. He's a great God. That's why we praise Him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another reason why He's a great God is a God that never lies. Praise the name of the Lord. He's a God that never lies. He's a God that never changes. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Man can lie to you. God, I mean, God cannot lie to you. Man can promise you and change. God will promise you and never change. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, by two immutable things, 
by two immutable things. It is impossible for God to lie by his promise and by his own. By his promise, by his own. It is impossible for God to what is lie. Because if God says, I will bless you, he means I will bless you. He has taken an oath on it that I will bless you. How can he change? His promises never fail. Praise the name of the Lord. By two immutable things, his promise and his oath, he can never lie to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 29. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 29. Also, the glory of Israel which will not lie or change his mind. Also, the glory of Israel, who is God, he says, will not lie or change his mind. For he is not a man that should change his mind. He is not man. Praise the name of the Lord. He is what God and God alone. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why I'm rest assured about eternal life. That is why I'm rest assured about eternal life. Because I know it's a promise that he has, it's not a lie. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a promise, it's not a lie. God has said, when at the end of it all, there is eternal life. And I am holding on to that promise because I serve a God that never lies, that never changes, that never says, at the end of the day, sorry, there's no what, there's no heaven. Sorry, there's no place for you. No, that's not how God works. He's a God that stands by what, what yes, His promises. Yes, yes. He stands by His promises. Yes. He's not man. That's why some things he can he has he has taken out of the hand of man. Look at air that we breathe. He, he has taken it out of the hand of man. Because if it was, we would have had to be buying air by now to breathe. The way the world has gone to would have been buying everything. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. But he took it out of man's hand. That's the God that we serve. That's the God that we are praising for that. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I see his prophecies falling upon your life, upon your destiny, each and every day, his blessings falling upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. All that he has promised concerning you, all that he has promised concerning your family, all that he has pro promised concerning your children, they will surely come to pass. Have I said that it will not happen? It's not possible. God has spoken every promise concerning you, and it shall come to pass. Shall come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, so that we don't even waste too much time because we need to praise our God. He is God alone. Praise the name of the Lord. He is God alone. Hallelujah. He says, number, uh, uh, another thing is that what? He never fails. Man can fail you, but God can never fail you. God can never fail you. Praise the name of the Lord. God can never fail. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, God can never fail me. God can never fail me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 12. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 28. Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord God, None of my words will be what? Delayed any longer. But the word that I speak, will be performed the word that he speaks will be performed he can never fail you if he says i will rescue you he means i will rescue you even if it's at the 11th hour rescue will come praise the name of the lord he never fails he never fails share that question and let me go they were thrown into them and before that they says we will never serve you, O okay? King. We will never change because of this law. He says, even if God does not save us, we will never change our minds. By that, God showed up. Praise the name of the Lord. In the fire, the king was looking, three men were putting 
what an old man appeared. And I tell you that that old man will appear for you too. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you pray, you praise him tonight, the old man will appear for you, for you. In every situation, in every situation, every circumstance in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because he never fails. Hallelujah. Praise the Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. Not a word will fail concerning you that the Lord has spoken concerning you. Not a word will fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17. The Lord your God is in the midst, is in your midst. Hallelujah. A mighty one who will say, he will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you but with his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. Praise the name of the Lord. Anytime you find yourself in any difficult situation, remember that the Lord your God, the Lord who is the only one, the God who is God alone, is in your midst. He's in your midst. And his promises was deliverance, and surely deliverance will come your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's high time people begin to trust this God who is God alone, the God that we serve. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Why am I saying so? Because when you call upon him, he will surely answer. Praise the name of the Lord. He's a God that when you call upon him, he has promised to answer. And he never fails in his answer, in his promises. Praise the name of the Lord. Call upon him in time of trouble. And God is there to answer. And God, who is God alone, will answer. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God and God alone is the only one who offers healing to us. He's the only one who offers healing to us. Bible says he sent his word and his word was healed there. Praise the name of the Lord. Anyone that is sick today, under this anointing, I speak that you shall be whole in the mighty name of Jesus. No sickness will what dwell in that body. Because the God who is God alone has said, You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are healed because that's what He offers. The God who is God alone, He offers healing to us. Praise the name of the Lord. He offers deliverance and protection. Praise the name of the Lord. He offers deliverance and protection. Anyone that is bound that we know today they are released in the mighty name of Jesus by the power that comes from God who is God alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing can tie you down, nothing can keep you in bondage when it comes to what to serving God who is God alone. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And then he offers blessings. He offers blessings. Praise the name of the Lord. He told Abraham, I will bless you and I will make you a blessing. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says his descendants will be what? Across nations, uncountable. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the God, who is God alone that can promise and bring it to pass. Here we are, a student of Abraham today. Coming forth from that promise, I will bless you and make you what a blessing. I, your descendants, shall be like what the sons, I mean, the sons of the sea. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Here we are standing from that promise. What is God? We serve. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. God is God alone. You know. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God is God alone. You know. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I am just challenging anyone today. Anyone today? Here, everyone online, anyone today that has not yet known this God, 
there's an opportunity to know him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have not known him, if you have not known him, it's, that means you are still living a life of struggle. Praise the name of the Lord. That means you are still struggling with life. That means you will find, you won't find things easy around you. Praise the name of the Lord. But this God that we serve, who is God alone, is able to offer you peace. He's able to offer you peace. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why he offered up his only begotten son. Just because of you and I. He says that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but what have everlasting life. If you are not assured of what will happen to you after your journey here on earth today, this is the time. This is the time to come and know him. Yes, who, is, who has promised us what he can alive through his only son. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to invite you today to come and know his son Jesus. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Who he has offered to the world to redeem you back unto him. To bring you back in line with what the, the, the will for you. What they are bringing you back in line with his will for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Stop that life of struggle. Stop that life of what? Of, of just going and help yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm introducing to you today Amen. the God who is God in you. Amen. Who is able to save you. Who is able to deliver you. Amen. Who is able to bless you. Amen. Who is able to rescue you out of every trouble. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm calling on you today. Anyone out there who has not yet known the Lord as a your hand by your chest. Hallelujah. And say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I come to know you today as my Lord and Savior. I believe you, you died, and I believe that you rose. I believe that you have washed away my sins, even at your resurrection. And I believe that you are the true Son of God. Today, I offer you my whole heart, and I sincerely say, I will serve you forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you have said that prayer, you have entered into a new realm of life. You have entered into a real realm of life. The God who is God alone will watch over your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.